Hey everyone, Endor here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you what to do if Microsoft Edge keeps crashing on Windows 10 or Windows 11 in 2022. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to simply run a PowerShell command. To do this right click the Windows button then select Windows Terminal as an administrator and afterwards in the PowerShell command window make sure to type in or copy paste the following command from the description below. Now simply press on enter then wait until the command is completed and then you can reboot your computer and restart Microsoft Edge to check if the problem still persists. Moving on you can also disable your extensions in Microsoft Edge. So make sure to access an instance of Microsoft Edge then click on the three dots next to your profile icon and select the extensions option. Now click on manage extensions and in here make sure to disable any problematic extensions from Microsoft Edge. And you can simply restart the Edge application and check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to clear the cache. To do this open again an instance of Microsoft Edge and click on the ellipsis next to your profile icon and then select the settings option. Now in here on the left pane make sure to click on privacy search and services and then on the right side you have a category that's called clear browsing data. In here you have a button next to clear browsing data now which says choose what to clear so click on it. Now make sure to choose a time range then make sure to tick the box next to browsing history, download history, cookies and other site data and cached image and files and then simply click on the clear now button. Afterwards restart Microsoft Edge and then check if the problem still persists. And lastly another great solution is to simply reset Microsoft Edge. To do this open an instance of Microsoft Edge then click on the ellipsis next to your profile icon and then select the settings option. Now in here on the left pane make sure to click on reset settings and then on the right side click on restore settings to their default values option. Now just click on the reset button to confirm and then you can restart Microsoft Edge to check if the problem still persists. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? As usual, for more information and details you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.